Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review for today. We're taking a look at this brand new Marvel Legends Jigsaw figure. So taking a closer look at the box first, we normally have a Build-A-Figure piece description here and a logo up top, but we don't have any of that today. We've got the warning up here, Marvel Legends series, and then the display, which is looking great. The main reason I wanted to pick this guy up was the accessories, because it looks like we get a lot of them. Marvel Super Villains, Marvel's Jigsaw, Hasbro, really, really cool image on this side, same image on this side. And then surprise, surprise, same image on the back. But you know what? Not even mad about it because that image is insane. I love that. Marvel Legends up here, Marvel's Jigsaw. And if you want to read that, pause it now. And let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at this new Marvel Legends figure. And so here is Jigsaw out of the packaging. And before we take a look at the many accessories that we get with him, Doctor Strange is coming out tomorrow, so at the time of the video, in fact, it'll be out today when I release this video. If you guys are going to see it, if you've already seen it, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. No spoilers, just let me know what you thought of it in general. I'm going to go see it on Saturday, and I can't wait. I'm going to see it in 3D. I'm really buzzing for it. The return of Sam Raimi, the return of Doctor Strange, it's going to be epic. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comment section. And while you're down there, if you could do me a massive favour, as always, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Now let's take a closer look at the accessories here. So first of all, we get two of these knives. They look... Pretty much the exact same to me, I don't think there's any differences and I do notice there's just a wee bit, oh I thought there was a wee bit of plastic hanging off that there but I must have been seeing things. Yeah, these look really nice, I'm sure we've gotten them before the Winter Soldier figure that we last took a look at on the channel rings a bell. I feel like we maybe got that knife with that figure but it's a really nice knife so I totally know why they're reusing it you know it does the trick and i'm happy with it i really like the steel color they've used in the blade and then nice sculpting on the handle there as well so we get two of them then we get a baseball bat and i love the baseball bat accessories i just think they look really cool once again really nice color they've used we've got the black in the handle and then silver again at the end and a figure I'm going to compare this to later on is the Marvel's Hammerhead that we took a look at on the channel from the Retro Wave. We got a baseball bat with that and I'm glad that they've went for a different colour scheme this time instead of just giving us the same baseball bat. But I can't get enough baseball bats, I think they're great. And then we get a machete, once again same sort of steel colour along the blade, then we get a handle which has really nice detail. I do believe this has also been reused. The Punisher Rider figure that once again we took a look at on the channel. So if you want to check any of those video guys, feel free to jump on over to the channel page and check them out. But yeah, I'm sure this machete came with that Punisher's Rider figure. Once again, I don't blame them for reusing it because it's a great sculpt. I like the colours they've used here and I'm really happy to get another Marvel Legends machete in the collection. Because these sort of accessories just make for great pictures. I love doing beat em up scenes and having stuff like that to really just add to the gnarliness and the aggressiveness in those photos. And speaking of gnarly aggressiveness, we get this great looking shotgun and the best part is still to come, the wee accessories that they've gave us to slot in the end of the shotgun here. I'm really buzzing for that because I don't think I've had any other Marvel Legends figures in the past where they've given us things like these. And, well, actually, the hood is coming to mind in the Super Villains wave, the same wave as Jigsaw here. Guess not the same wave, but the same series, the Super Villain series. And the slot in effects they gave us for that gun looked very questionable. Yeah, they weren't the best. And, okay, I'm finding that you're only going to be able to put one of these in at a time, it looks like, because the wee star bits coming out the side it looks like they're just going to hit off each other and it's going to clash so I don't think you can really pour it two in that's the best I'm getting and that looks really bad so yeah one at a time just to be safe as well we don't want to warp them or anything but I really like this bullet effect once again the effects that came with the hood 
were awful, I think. I think everyone agreed that they looked very, very, um, not billet like, and they looked a lot like something else, which just, these look a lot better. I'm really happy with that. And once you've fired your bullet, you can slot in these smoke effects, which from the pictures I've seen look fan fantastic i need to keep on remembering to put these on on camera while i'm talking or you're just looking at nothing so i do apologize let's see yeah that looks great that looks awesome i'm so happy with that that looks so cool i hope these fit into some other guns i have i doubt it but yeah that looks great i'm i think that's awesome uh yeah as i said the main reason i wanted to pick this figure up was because of the accessories and I am not disappointed. So the other reason I wanted to pick this figure up is similar to the reason I picked up the retro carded hammerhead. And in that video, I spoke about how I love the mafia gangster genre film. One of my favorite films of all time is Goodfellas. Love the Godfather, Casino, American Gangster. The list goes on. I mean, it is endless and I could talk about gangster films for days. And with that in mind, I really... I, I mean, I used to look out a lot for kind of gangster figures. I've got a couple of Scarface figures, but that is really it. There isn't too many really nice uh, kind of mafia movie figures out there. And when I saw Hammerhead getting released, I was like, perfect, a mafia looking figure I can fit in with my main collection, which is Marvel Legends. And the exact same goes for Jigsaw here. He just captures the look off a gangster so much here. I mean, he looks like he's got the kind of Scarface suit on, but he's also got that twist when it comes to the face. Speaking of, let's just take a closer look at that head sculpt. Oh my God, that is just unreal. I am blown away by this. I think it looks amazing. All the scars going on around his face there are so gnarly they've made it look so brutal and his eyes i mean all that wee like tiny bloodshot detail in there i'm trying to get him as close to the camera as i can so you guys can just see how amazing this is it's probably the closest i'm going to be able to get it that eye looks so crazy the teeth um i'm trying to yeah it's kind of got all this kind of fuzzy kind of bleeding sort of look i don't know if that's maybe a slight printing error or if that's intentional because his lips do look messed up and it's kind of just going over onto his teeth there but his teeth i doubt are going to be the cleanest anyway i'm not complaining i just think that's something to point out you can kind of see lots of dotted i'm going to say detail in the teeth presuming it's intentional but we know screen printing can go wrong sometimes and that could be a uh, a slight downfall of the screen printing on his teeth there, but minor issue. I mean, look at the rest of that head sculpt. I've seen a few where I thought the eyes looked a bit off. I think these eyes look fantastic. And yeah, all the staples and stitches on his face, they're just... <sighs> this, that head sculpt's next level. I, I mean, what, what else can I say? It is great. Back of the head, we get another scar, which is just awesome. I think that looks fantastic we get a silver collar and then a black shirt kind of underneath it now the rest of the costume looks great but personally i don't like how the tie is just poking out the bottom there i think it looks a bit stupid i really wish the waistcoat and the uh, trouser kind of just matched up and we didn't see the tie poking out the bottom if i was to wear a suit i would definitely be wary of that i wouldn't want the tie just kind of sticking at the bottom i think it does look a bit weird but that's just a personal gripe I, I mean it's obviously intentional that they've done this i would just presume you'd have the tie a bit shorter and it would be hidden i eh, I, I don't know uh, i do like all the black buttons contrasting with the white suit same with the black handkerchief here the suit looks really good i'm guessing it's just kind of reused from previous figures if i quickly grab hammerhead here looks pretty much the same sculpt to me if not the exact same uh, just looking at the coat and the waistcoat and then we get the legs with these shoes and i'm probably wrong because i can't imagine they've went for like a whole new look of shoe here like a new sculpted shoe but i can't really remember another figure with 
these shoes. I mean, I'm thinking of other ones with smart shoes on, and they're definitely more pointy. I do feel like this could be a new skill, but maybe I'm wrong. But, I mean, it does the trick. I've not actually had too many problems standing this figure up, and I'm really bad at getting figures to stand. And so for a bit of comparison, here we have Jigsaw next to our Marvel Legends retro carded hammerhead. And these guys go so well together. I hope Marvel Legends keep releasing criminal suited figures because I'm going to build my own Marvel Legends Mafia starting with these two. Yeah, I just love the look of them both. Really gnarly looking figures, both for different reasons. We've got this kind of stocky hammerhead that looks menacing in himself. And then we get Jigsaw who just looks terrifying. And yeah, I'm really happy with both of these guys and I'm going to display them together. And then for another Marvel Legends comparison, we have our retro carded Symbiote Spider-Man and I chose the Symbiote Spider-Man because of the black and white contrast we get here. Once again, go really well with each other and I'm really happy to add Jigsaw to the Marvel Legends collection. So I'll try and run over all the articulation on Jigsaw here. We can get his head not looking too far forward and i've just realized actually by popping his head off we can take the silver collar off which is gonna restrict the movement in the head as we can see it comes right up to the ball joint here so i might just keep that off for the time being if i pop the head back on let's see how far we can get it now yeah about that far up we can get it looking about that far into the body we can move that all the way around and it will pivot around on his ball joint there get the arms moving about that far up that far into the body backwards forwards upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows and yeah this figure isn't pinless a lot of pinless marvel legends coming out but this isn't one of them we can move the wrist around and you can yeah, it's not really moving backwards and forwards to be honest, but you can, oh, it moves. You can see it's got the hinge there, so it'll move up and down that way. Same articulation in this arm. There really isn't anything going in the torso area. If there is, there is very minimal movement, but I'm going to say that there isn't. Get the leg kicking about that far forward, uh, about that far back. We can get him kicking about that far out to the side, so not too far at all. Upper thigh cut there, double jointed knees. We can move the foot backwards and forwards and it will pivot around as well. And so there we have it for our new Marvel Legends Jigsaw super villain figure. And I think this figure is absolutely fantastic. I'm just kind of gobsmacked with the amount of accessories we get. And those wee slot in accessories for the guns and things. I hope that's something we see a lot more from Marvel Legends. It just sends the figure to like a different level. It really adds to it in a small way that just makes it feel like you're getting your money's worth. I, I don't know, just so many weapons with this guy and then the added effects. Once again, I hope we get it with a lot more upcoming Marvel Legends releases. On top of that, this figure just looks gnarly in general. I mean, that head sculpt is next level. The attention to detail there nothing has been missed and i think it's a great uh, suit sculpt that suits the figure as well so yeah top marks from me especially at the lower retail price point of around 22 pounds with the new spider-man figure wave coming out marvel legends have bumped the prices right up to around 27 28 pounds which is Ah, it's annoying to say the least. I know, I mean, Marvel Legends and the type of figures they produce, when you're going for the import figures like Mafex and SH Figure Arts, you are paying a lot more money. And when Marvel Legends are producing figures of this standard right here, yeah, 27, 28 pounds isn't too bad. But the fact that this one came out for around 22, I, yeah, I can't complain at all. So with all that being said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below and while you're down there guys, if you could do me a massive favour, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below where I'll definitely be getting some uh, pictures of Jigsaw up on there so feel free to go and check that out and feel free to hop on over to the channel page there are plenty of other Marvel Legends figure videos up on there be awesome if you could hop on over and check some of them out with all that being said thank you so much for watching this video right here guys and as always I'll catch you on the flip flop later cheers